Hey there, thanks for stopping by my channel to color. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Today we're going to be using our Copic markers and we'll be coloring this adorable Dreamland Crafts image called a Friendship Hug. Aren't they just adorable? I'll go ahead and put a link to the card kit and all the supplies that I used down in the description box in case you'd like to pick something up. I went ahead and stamped my image on some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and outline our image. For that, we're going to use C0. And I'm just going to use my C0, and I'm going to go completely around the outside of my image. I don't usually pay attention to how fat my line is or any of that. I just want to do a little bit of a shadow on the outside of my image to give it a little bit of dimension and make it pop a little bit. If you do this first, then you don't have to worry about if you get some on your image, you can just go ahead and erase it. It's no big deal. Let's turn it around here so we can do this side. I just kind of go with however fat my marker, whatever way I'm holding it is what you're going to get. If you do happen to get some um, ink on your image and you don't like it on there, if you do it first, then it's super easy for you to just go ahead and erase it and then go from there. I'm not going to do underneath of her feet because I'm going to go ahead and give her something to stand on here in a minute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give them something to stand on. For that, we're going to use W7, 5, and 3. I'm going to start with W7. I'm going to go just a little bit past her foot. I'm going up on her ankle a little bit, and then I'm coming around the bottom of her foot. Being careful not to try to color her foot or the bear's little foot. And we'll go around over here, and then I want to also go up here, kind of where his foot kind of dips in a little bit, and then pull away from my, my foot and come out here into the white a little bit. Go ahead and fill in down here, just a little dab. Kind of make it look like a little oval around the outside. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab W5, and then I'm going to go right over the edge of my W7, just a little bit here at the top, and then I'll pull it out a little bit past on the ends and along the side. A little dab right above her foot there. Same for this side. Not adding too much because I don't want it to go out too far because I got this paper's not really that big, but I want to soften the edge of that W7 just a little bit. Next, I'll go over that with my W3. So again, I'm going to go a little bit over the top and then we'll pull out a little bit. And then along this line here. And then again, above that one and out. And then I think I'll go a little bit above her foot right here. And I got a little bit of a line here, so I'm going to go ahead and just flick right over the top of that for a second coat, softening it up. And then after I go through all those, I like to grab my W7 again and just do a little bit right next to their feet to darken it up. Let's do our skin next. For that, we'll use E11, E01, E00, and R20 for our cheeks. So I'm going to start with E11 first. And I'm going to put that where I want to have the shadows the most. So I'm going to go right with a little line here underneath of her skirt. And then I'm going to come down the back of her leg, over the top of this little leg, and then do a little bit on her toe there. Same for this one. I'm going to do the back of her leg and along the bottom of her foot. And then because this leg's a little bit fatter, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to add E01 to that. I'm brushing over the edge of my E11. And this leg's pretty in the back. And I'm going to just leave a little dab of white along that edge there. Same for this one. We'll pull right, go right along that line. And then I'm going to come up and cover up a lot of her foot. So I just have a little bit of white left. And then I'm going to go over the entire leg with E00. So I'm just going to go ahead and start over here, and I'm just going to swipe, clear across, and cover it the rest of the way up. And I'm going to give it a second swipe because I'm not loving how my um, line is looking there, so I'm just going to swipe over it one more time. And then I'm going to take my E11, and I'm going to use that to add that shadow back in on the back of her leg. And a little bit underneath the first skirt. Then I'll leave that like that. And I'll go up here and we'll do her arm. So again, I'm going to stay with my E11. And I'm going to go ahead and brush along the back of her arm. And 
And I'm going about, I'd say about used about two thirds of her arm up. And we're going to go down here and do her hand. And then I'm going to do a little dab right here in her neck where it comes and it meets that little bear. There's a couple of little lines right in there, so I'm just covering those up. And then I'm going to grab EO1. I'm going to fill in her neck. And we're going to brush over our E11. I'm using about two thirds of her arm now. And then we'll take our E00. And even though I filled this in, I'm going to go ahead and color over it. And then up here in her arm, I swipe clear over E11 and E01. And I come clear back across to the other side of her arm, covering it the rest of the way up. This helps soften those lines and it works the best for me. I'm going to go over this one more time. And then I've come back with my E11. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shadow on the back of her arm. Do that little dab of dark space that was on her neck. Then up here for her face, we'll again start with our E11. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath of her hair on her forehead. Her head's tipped down a little bit, so I'm going to come down here to about where her eye has a little slash there for eyelashes. Then we're going to do this side. Do her cheek. Then I'm going to grab E01. Brush on top of my E11, and I'm pulling out into my white space. I'm going to go down this side of her face too. So I went on the other side of her eye there and covered it the rest of the way up. And then I take E00, and I'm brushing that edge of that E01, and I left a white dash in the middle of her face right here, because we'll do that on our second trip through. But first we're going to take R20, and we're going to add some cheek color. So I'm going to go ahead, there's some little dots right here, so I'm going underneath those little dots and away from the edge of her cheek. So I want to keep it concentrated more dark over here on this edge where the bear touches her cheek. Same for this one, we're going to go from the edge and then going to go underneath that little line, add some pink. And I'm going to add a couple more little dabs out here on the edge, because it's going to be darker out there on the edge of her cheek. Then I'm going to grab E01. a second coat. So we're going to go right over the top. And then we take our E00 and I'm swiping over the entire area. Going from one side of her face to the other side. I've got a little line up here so I'm going to brush down away from that top into the space down here. Same from this way. Like in her neck right here. Let me get a little color on her neck. And then I'm going to take E11 and I'm going to do a little bit of a dark shadow right along where her bangs are. Edge of her face. For her hair, we're going to use Y32, E49, E44, and E55. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Y32. I'm going to use that to just color all of her hair in. So nothing fancy, I'm just going to go around this flower and cover all of this hair up with my yellow. Go down here, we'll add a little bit. It kind of brushes onto her arm right there, so I went ahead and just brushed the color onto her arm a little bit. And then she's got a dress right here, so you don't want to color that. Brush the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my E49 and I'm going to add a little bit of some shadow areas in there. So right here her hair looks like it folds under a little bit so I'm going to do a little dab of color in there. And then right here it looks like it's also folding back into her eyebrow and tucking behind her face. I'll add a little bit more down here. And then I'm going to do her right where it looks like she's got a part. Doing a few little dash lines in there. I'm going to go ahead and down here where we've got our little um, flower that comes out. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple little streaks in there. And I'm trying to use just the tip of my pen 
so that I can get some really small um, straight lines in there. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and turn my girl because it's easier for me to do um, the streaks kind of away from me. So let's turn her a little bit. And then let's add some in here. So I'm going to do is just use the tip of my pen. I'm going to very carefully do it here. And then we want them to come up from the bottom of my hair. So I'm going to add some in here. And her hair kind of waves out there. So I'm making sure to kind of curve it. And then here it curves back in. So you want to curve back in. And then up here, it's curving around the top of her head. So I'm going to add a few little streaks that go back and forth up there. I know it doesn't look very pretty, but we will fix it. And it'll look beautiful when we're all done. Turn her back around. And now I'm going to go again with my E44 next. So same thing. We're just going to add a few little streaks in there. And I'm trying to make them in a different space than I did the first two colors, or the first dark color anyway. Okay, if you go over some of the color you already have laid down. And again, this brushes onto her shoulder, so I'm making sure my lines go a little bit onto that. Let's go. Dip it in, goes over the top of her head, and then it dips in here and comes over the top. Next, we're going to go with E55. So same thing. I'm just going to add some of these colors in here. So let's just add a little bit in here. This. Go up here and add some to her hair up here. So again, I'm going in the shape of her hair. So her hair kind of swoops up and then it goes in and then it comes back to the flower. So I'm going over, in, back to the flower, in, over to the top of her head. I always make sure my lines go in the direction that the hair is going. I don't want to go in a different direction. It would look completely weird. Okay, now I'm going to take my Y32, and I'm just going to go over all of her hair again. So I'm just going to lightly brush. I'm going to soften all these lines together. Smoosh them. I call it smooshing. And then I come in with my E49 for a second coat. So I'm going to add a few little drabs of little lines of that. And I'm not loving this right here. So let's go ahead and do, go ahead and use my pen and maybe draw a few little. I'm down from the top. I think I'll add another coat of my E44 also. Start from over here. Dip in, go around. For the flower in her hair, we'll use YR15, 12, and 21. I'm going to go ahead and start with my YR15. And for that, I'm going to use this color to pull away from the center of my flower a little bit. Add a little bit of color on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and go with YR12 next. Make sure to brush over the edge of my YR15. But I'm leaving some little bit of white at the edge so we can add our YR21 next. So for that, I go over the entire thing. I just kind of swirl my brush around in a circle there and fill that in. And then I come back with YR15 and add that dark back in. That. I take those away. So I'm going to go ahead and use my YR15 now to do the collar on her dress. She's got a little bit of a ruffle right here. I'm going to fill that in, and then she's got a little bit, I called this a belt. Maybe she doesn't have to, you can make it pink, but I went ahead and give her a little bit of color right here on her belt. Maybe it's some ribbon. And since it goes, I'm assuming it goes right here and then it's going to come across, I'm going to give it a little dab of color right here where this bears up. 
you complete, could completely skip that little step, but I thought it would make more sense if it went straight across and it came over to here. For her dress, we're going to use RV09, 14, 13, and 21. I'm going to start with my RV09 first, and I'm going to add where I want it to be darkest. So the little bear right here is touching her... Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the other end, too, because... Um, I don't use it very much, so I want to make sure I don't get any of the big blobs on there. But I'm going to go right next to where I colored her belt, or her sash, and then I'm going to add this color a little bit up to where the little bear is kind of leaning on her. And then for her dress up here, she's got her arm, so I'm going to go underneath that hair that's right there. And then we're going to pull down and go down behind her arm. Then I'm going, have, I'm going to take RV14, and we're going to fill this section in. There's not much there, so you're not going to need a bunch of colors up here. So I just went ahead and filled it in. Then I'm going to come back with my RV09, and I'm going to add that shadow back in just a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with RV21, which is my lightest color, and I'm going to map out where I want to have some highlights on her skirt. So I want there to be a highlight right here, because it kind of goes up right here, and then right here it goes down, and then it goes up again right here, there's a little V right here. Go ahead and put a little highlight right there so I remember not to color over it. Then it goes down, and then right here it goes up. Color on the top of that, and then it goes down, and then right here it goes up. I'm going to go ahead and put my little highlight right here. Yeah. And then over here it rolls back down, and then down here it goes into the shadow, and then right here is the top of a pleat. So I'm going to go ahead and color that a light color, and then I'm going to do a light color on the back of her dress where it pokes out. Okay, then I'm going to go with my RV09 for my darkest color. So we want to add that in all the shadow areas. So right here where it goes down, I'm going to put that right in there. So I'm going to go right next to this lightest colored stripe. Add a little bit of my RV09. And then right there it again goes down, so let's go right next to this lighter stripe. Put a color there. And then over here, it looks like it goes down right here. This is the deepest point of my of my shadow. Add that right in there. And then the back of the dress, right over here, where it again goes down into the back. I'm also going to do this side because it's behind, it looks like it's behind this piece. Other side of this line. Then I'm going to go with RV14 next. So I just want to soften that line. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go with a little bit over the top of our RV09. do on both sides of this line and over here we're going to do on the right side right side of this one then we'll go with RV14 we'll go on the left side of our darkest colors Then we'll switch over to the right side on this side. I'm going to do the left side. A little bit on my bear there. 
need to go all the way up to this little lightest color. And then we're again on the right side. Right side. Right side. And then I take my RV21. I'm going over all those light spots again. It's looking pretty liney, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a second coat. So I've grabbed RV09. I'm going to go over all those dark places again. And then RV14. RV13. Shouldered my bear's arm there a little bit, but that's all right. I'm not going to stress over that. I'm going to kind of color him brown, so we'll probably just cover that right up. You can also take your colorless blender and erase it if you're worried. And then I would take my RV21. And again, go over those light spaces. Now, this time, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and go over her entire skirt. So I'm just going to swipe from the top down to the bottom over the entire thing. And this will help blend up some of those little lines that you got going on and making them smoosh together. And then I really like the streaky look of that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the inside of my bear's ear and his tail next. For that, I'm going to use R20 and 30. I'm going to start with R20. I'm going to add that where I want it to be the darkest, so I'm going to go right next to his body right here. And then I'm going to flick up a little bit into his ear. Same for his tail. I want it to be darkest next to his body. And then flick away from that. I had a little bit extra down here at the bottom because it's underneath, so it would be a little bit darker there. Then we'll switch to R R30, and I'm just going to fill it the rest of the way in. And I'm going to give it a second coat of my R20. Let's go ahead and pop up here and do this flower in her hair. For that, we'll use E77 and 71. For my E77, there's some swirls right here in the flower. I'm just going give to give it some swirls of my own. So I'm just going to swirl in there and make a little swirl. And then I take my E71 and I fill that in. And then I go back over my swirl with my E77. leaves us with the bear. For that we'll use E77, 74, 71, and E70. So I'm going to go ahead and start with E77. We'll add that where we want a darkest color. So I'm going to go on my bear's ear and then I'm going to go over the top of the pink around to this side and give a little dab there at the bottom of his ear. Then for his face we're going to go up here where her face is touching and then I'm going to go under her chin side of my bear and then right here, he looks like he's got a cheek, so I'm going to go ahead and exaggerate that a little bit. And same for this side. Let's exaggerate this side like that. Also, I'm going to go down the back of my bear's head. And just touching him a little dab. Make this line go up here from his arm. And see this my little boo-boo there with the, the pink on her skirt? I covered that right up with my brown for my bear. Side of her skirt, under her skirt right here. Pull her out. I'm going to go ahead and bring this out even with this line right here. 
and then we're going to go underneath of his legs go on the inside of this front leg or the back leg I guess it is right here his foot would be have like a little ankle so I went ahead and gave that a little bit extra then I'm going to go ahead and go with E74 next you just want to go right over the top of your E77 bring it out a little bit softening it up with this color I'm going to go around the top of his over the top of her hand and then we're also going to go in front of his ear pull this out a little dab this cheek color we're just adding to our line we're gonna give him a second coat so don't worry if he looks terrible we're just doing a preliminary coat to get us started and I'll go with E71 a little dab of white up there at the top very carefully adding a little bit more color then we'll go with E70 filling it all the way in on some of these spaces that are bigger because we're going to come back with our second coat and that will make that space we left white even lighter when we come back okay then we'll start over so I've got E77 Bring this line here we're next to her dress out just a little bit more. We'll add E seventy four. Brushing this thicker area out a little bit farther. E71. And then we fill it in with our E70 and go over the entire brown area. Go ahead and fill this in. Then after I filled it in, I take my pen and I just swipe over the entire bear. This way and that way and back and forth.
give it a second because I'm not loving how it looks back here on his back. So I give it a second to dry just a second and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and brush this towards my dark. Here I've got a little line here too so I'm just going to flick over that one more time. Soften it a little bit. Let's go ahead and put our card together. So I've got all my stuff here. And I'm going to start with my brown piece. And I always make sure before I get started that my card is opening the direction I want it to. Otherwise, I would be the one that put it on the wrong way. I'm just going to use my tape runner to attach this. So you get the actual tape runner on the paper. Get a little bit here in the middle. And some of these have like little fuzzies on there, so you might want to go through and kind of brush them off just a little bit. Then next we're going to have our striped piece. And that one is centered in between the little brown one. And next comes our orange piece. This one I made go up to the top of the brown piece up here. Next we're going to go ahead and put our girl on. And this one it goes to the top of our orange piece. Let's go ahead and attach our sentiment. And again, this may have some fuzzies on there, so you might want to run your hand around there and remove the little fuzzies. You get kind of little extra little dots from your the die cutting it out. Same for this. And the sentiment is from the CC Designs Bubble Word Sentiment Set. And I do have a couple of those left over. So if you want one of those, I did put them in the store. And you get um, the sentiment set and the die with it to cut out the little bubbles for you to put your sentiments on. And I've used this, this sentiment here particularly uh, quite a few times. So it's worth the investment if you want to use that quite a bit. And then you're also going to get a piece of twine. So for my piece of twine, I just take some regular tape and I stuck it on to the back. Hold my twine down. Helps if your tape does not stick off the side. And then I held it and I just kind of looped it around Go this way so it loops onto the card more. This, and I brought it down over here and had it loop off the bottom. Just kind of fiddle with it until you get it however you want. Quite a bit here, so. And yours is going to be one big piece, so you'll have to divide it up into three sections of whatever you want. And then I flip it over, and I'm just going to make sure this piece goes on there. Let's get some tape. And I just use my tape to hold this all down. I went off the side there again. Or I'm just going to stick it over here so it's all behind the back. Okay. And then I'm going to take some foam tape. I pop this up and on the back. Double pieces. Put it down here. Whoops, I got see I got all those fuzzies from it all over the place. Put that down. Right. Then you got some stars. So I'm gonna take your stars. I'm gonna get some liquid glue for that. That seems easiest. And let's do a red star. I'm gonna go ahead and put the red star up here. Coming off of my top of my card here a little bit. And let's do a yellow star. 
Don't forget, these two have the little fuzzies on the outside, so you might want to brush them a little bit before you stick them on. And let's go ahead and stick this one over here coming off the edge of my stuff. This yellow one. Or you could do them all red and all yellow or all whatever you want. And stick that one on my sentiment. And then you get some hearts. Heart, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this heart up here to my red star. Put it in the middle if you want. I'm just gonna kind of offset it. Where'd my other star go? Oh, look, it's attached itself to my super glue or to my glue here. These were just some scraps I had left over, but they match perfectly to this little blue stripe on my paper there. So there is our beautiful A Friendship Hug all colored up and put together. Isn't it super cute? So if you want to see more um, detailed photos or close-up photos, head over to the store blog. I'll put a link to that down in the description box. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel. And um, if you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, right about now, you should be seeing a screen that'll give you a couple more videos I thought you might be interested in. If you're interested in either of those, just click on it and it will take you straight to the video and you can check it out. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.